Okay, we're an XP professional and we want to install the recovery console and make it bootable this time. So in this case, I have my Windows XP professional CD in the CD drive, it's drive E. I want to go to the i386 folder. And what I want to do is use WinNT32 and pass on a switch, CMD CONS for command console. And what this will do when I run it, it'll pop up. Wizard will ask me, do I want to install recovery console? This will give me a recovery console that's available on the boot menu. And then I can run it from the boot menu. It's a lot faster than booting off the CD. Of course, now it only works if your hard drive isn't, isn't so badly damaged that it's incapable of, of booting. So this would be a nice speedy option for recovery. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and then we'll install it, and then we'll go look at it. Be a nice. <coughs> do you want to install recovery console? We'll say yes. And connect to Microsoft, download any applicable software. Um. And set up a little copy of the files necessary. <coughs> and Windows Recovery Console has been successfully installed. Okay. Now let's go ahead and reboot. And we'll take a look at it. It'll actually be... <coughs> so now we're going to reboot. And we'll look at some Recovery Console commands and options. And I don't want to boot from the CD. So in this case, now we're looking at the hard drive. Now notice I have Microsoft Windows XP Professional, but I also have Microsoft Windows Recovery Console. And I'll go into that this time from the hard drive. We have booted into Recovery Console now. And we want to look at some of the available options. First thing we can do is type help. And that'll give us a comprehensive listing of some of the commands. And in this case, a trib is very useful, boot CFG. Let's just look at a few of them. If you have a boot sector virus, a lot of times what can clean it is the command fix MBR. Boot CFG, I'll just do a listing of command options can help you see what entries are in your boot on file, or if you had a drive or remove it and for some reason it's unbootable or the boot on file doesn't map it to the correct location, um, then you can use the rebuild switch. So this is very useful for repairing and rebuilding a boot INI file. Okay. We have booted into recovery console now and we want to look at some of the available options. First thing we can do is type help. And that'll give us a comprehensive listing of some of the commands. And in this case, a trib is very useful, boot CFG. Let's just look at a few of them. If you have a boot sector virus, a lot of times what can clean it is the command fix MBR. Also, fix boot can assist you in. If you have a boot sector virus, um, a lot of times what can you know, make your system bootable again or help you clean the virus off would be fix MBR. And its counterpart would be fix boot. Boot CFG, I'll just do a listing of command options, can help you see what entries are in your boot on file. Or if you had a drive or remove it and for some reason it's unbootable or the boot on file doesn't map it to the correct location, um, then you can use the rebuild switch. So. This is very useful for repairing and rebuilding a boot INI file. Of course, you have all of your DOS commands. Um, and let me do. 